Hey everybody, this is Brian and it's time for the uh, mid-size, or not, not the mid-size, this is the LED salad bar grill area. Okay, uh, I, did, I noticed something this week after Paula had, done, Paula had done a harvest on this, is that uh, the leaves were starting to get this kind of weird blotchy look. And you can see it usually on like cucumbers and they get this kind of like little, uh, you know, yellowish and kind of, kind of almost like a, I don't know, like a splatter painting almost on your leaves. That's usually from like a uh, calcium magnesium magnesium deficiency. So I don't like to do a foliar spray on my vegetables that I eat. So I mix up a little bit of my uh, CalMag solution. It's an organic mix. And then I added in some of my uh, black molasses and I mix that together in a one quart jar with some water and uh, give it a good, good sprinkling you know, around in here. And I also added some uh, Epsom salt down inside of here, to give it a little bit of a distributed you know, long-term kind of boost to the um, magnesium level inside of here. And uh, so far from what I'm seeing on the uh, cucumber leaves, the new ones, they don't have that. I mean, I, let me grab the camera and I'll just show you guys. But, uh, so here's what the leaves look like when they start to get that deficiency. They start to get that kind of a splotchy look and then the, the older ones, they'll really start to crust up. I don't know if I can see one there, like down in there, you can see that one's really got that kind of a crusty feel. It's called cracking, that kind of thing. But the new leaves that are coming out, they look to be pretty good. I did the dosage uh, two days ago. So hopefully we'll start seeing the results in all the new leaves. I mean, you don't really see it in this one up here. It's a new leaf. This one here looks pretty new, so I don't see it there. You see a little bit, these are a little bit older leaves, but there's a little bit on there. But hopefully that's gonna take care of the issue and hopefully it'll help out with the uh, some of this chard, because I was starting to see some of the kind of same deficiencies in here inside the chart, so hopefully that's gonna give it a boost. But Paula did come down here and harvest uh, last night, so it's pretty thin back in here now. We got some new growth coming up in here, but that's been thinned out, and then she also took some of the Silverado chart, but we still have quite a bit that needs to be harvested on that. And the interesting thing is, I don't see that same issue on the Silverado chart as I do on this Rainbow chart. So it may be a little bit hardier, so if you guys wanted to have an easier, hardier, less maintenance chart to grow, I would go with that Silverado chart, because I really love that stuff. I mean. Paula got some of that and she sauteed that up. We had uh, sweet potato along with that. And she mixed it up and we had it in like an egg burrito. God dang, that thing was good. But uh, anyway, uh, this is a cucumber plant that's growing here. Uh, we had some cucumber. I was gonna show you guys the little cucumber I had going on here. There's a little one, it's about an inch long somewhere. Oh well, you guys get bored if I sit here and pick around on my plants. But well, there's one, you can see him right there, little guy. <laughs> and this tomato plant, it's taken off. Uh, it's doing really well. It'll be interesting to see if this actually can survive when I move this whole tray outside. Like when you see the video for the indoor grow tent for the large one, uh, I've taken the beta mix uh, salad greens out of there and I've reseeded a new tray and I'll show you that when I do that video. But uh, I'm redoing that tent and I'll show you the eggplants. We've got quite a few popping up in that also. But as far as the salad bar LED, I'm happy as Happy as a clam. I mean, it's it's growing me enough greens to where we're getting uh, sautéed vegetables fresh until we get something growing outside. All right. Well, this has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. All right, bye.